morning everyone sorry um everything went not as planned um i'm live now uh, something went um wrong with my connection so sorry about that we're going to have our morning worship now so thank you for joining me and a very warm welcome um, as we come together to worship god hopefully this time my connection will not go and it will stay um, on and you will be able to join me the service was emailed uh, um, and uh, was also posted so um, hopefully you can join in with the words um, that are available and the words in bold type you join in we have been reflecting on um, the theme for our midweek reflection and the services was remembering and trusting God's promises and a couple of weeks ago we thought about uh, God's promise through a rainbow um, last week we were thinking about the inescapable God the promise of God that God knows us and today we are going to think about the promise that God's presence is with us uh, through day and night so let's just be still for a few moments as we prepare and listen to uh, the hymn. So we prepare ourselves, uh, we are going to follow the morning prayer, uh, order of service uh, during a Easter season. So we say a prayer of preparation. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. In a prayer of thanksgiving. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, 
Rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Amen. And the opening prayer. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. I'm going to read Psalm uh, appointed for today. It is Psalm 105 and verses 1 to 45. But I'm going to read verses 1 to 5 and then verses 43 to 45. Psalm 105 verses 1 to 5. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the peoples, sing to him, sing praises to him, tell of all his wonderful works, glory to his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice, seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wonderful works he has done, his miracles and the judgments he has uttered. So he brought his people out with joy, his chosen ones with singing. He gave them the lands of the nations and they took possession of the wealth of the peoples that they might keep his statutes and observe his laws. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. I'm going to do the Bible reading and the Bible reading is from uh, the book of Exodus chapter 24. Then he said to Moses, Come up to the Lord, you and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship at a distance. Moses alone shall come near the Lord, but the others shall not come near, and the people shall not come up with him. Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord and all the ordinances and all the people answered with one voice and said all the words that the Lord has spoken we will do and Moses wrote down all the words of the Lord he rose early in the morning and built an altar at the foot of the mountain and set up two twelve pillars corresponding to the twelve tribes of Israel. He sent young men of the people of Israel who offered burnt offerings and sacrificed oxen as offerings of well-being to the Lord. Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins and half of the blood he dashed against the altar. Then he took the book of the covenant and read it in the hearing of the people and they said all that the Lord has done has spoken we will do and we will be obedient Moses took the blood and dashed it on the people and said see the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words then Moses and Aaron Nadab and Abihu and seventy of the elders of Israel went up and they saw the God of Israel under his feet there was something like a pavement of sapphire stone like the very heaven for clearness. God did not lay his hand on the chief men of the people of Israel. Also they beheld God and they ate and drank. The Lord said to Moses, Come up to me, 
on the mountain and wait there and I will give you the tablets of stone with the law and the commandment which I have written for their instruction. So Moses set out with his assistant Joshua and Moses went up into the mountain of God. To the elders he had said, wait here for us until we come to you again and Aaron and Hur are with you. Whoever has a dispute may go to them. Then Moses went up on the mountain and the cloud covered the mountain. The glory of the Lord settled on Mount Sinai. The cloud covered it for six days. On the seventh day, he called to Moses out of the cloud. Now the appearance of the glory of the Lord was like a devouring fire on the top of the mountain in the sight of the people of Israel. Moses entered the cloud and went up on the mountain. Moses was on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'm going to share a brief reflection based on the Bible readings we have had. Reading from the book of Exodus reminds us that there is a covenantal relationship between God and his people. The Old Testament records that the covenant between God and his people was a temporary provision. Later, this covenant was sealed forever through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. The ceremony of sprinkling of the blood of animal in the Old Testament was now, once for all, replaced by the sprinkling of Christ's blood flowed from his death on the cross. Christ shedding his blood on the cross was meant to forgive sins of all believers and to end uh, of death. The exodus of people from the slavery to the promised land is now culminated in all believers moving from the life of sinful death to the life of grace and a showed promise for the eternal life. In Jesus we have ultimate hope as his suffering brought an end to the ultimate fear of death by destroying the sting of death. He rose again after his painful death to reveal to the world that he is the inescapable God. He is present with us all the time. His promises are unchangeable and he, will, he never lets his people down. Today, maybe we are going through wilderness experiences due to coronavirus a hard and difficult time and we still do not know what will be our path as we enter in the future. In the midst of uncertainty and anxiety, the resurrection of Jesus Christ reminds us that he will not deprive us from reaching to the promised land where all his goodness will keep us in his loving care. Let us trust in his never-ending presence in our lives because his presence with us day and night. Amen. So we say the responsory together. Please do join in. The words in bold type, please join in. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where or death is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead. The first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? We shall not all asleep, but we shall be changed. <coughs> death is swallowed up in victory. 
where or death is your sting. Sorry about that. I just had just I need some water. <laughs> so we come before God and bring our prayers. We are going to have prayers of intercession. After each section, I will pause. So please do offer your prayers. Prayer requests that you have been asked to pray for and your concerns um, that may uh, come up at the appropriate section. The response to Lord in your mercy is hear our prayer. In joy and hope, let us pray to the Father that our risen Savior may fill us with the joy of his glorious and life-giving resurrection. Especially for such times as these, where we are experiencing uncertainty, anxiety, sadness and sorrow due to coronavirus, may God fill us with peace and comfort us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the church. Remember St. Stephen's and St. James and all the members. We also pray for our local churches in the area. The church nationally and the worldwide church. In these strange times, may your church continue to be the bold witness of your love Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, provide for those who lack food, work or shelter. Look in mercy on your world, the world that is suffering due to coronavirus, war and famine. And as people are helping in their capacity individually or as organizations to reach out to all those in need, strengthen us, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick, the weak and the dying. May you comfort and strengthen them. Any who are battling for their life due to the virus or for any other illness. We remember their families. And we also pray for the doctors and the nurses, nurses and all the NHS staff and all the key workers, social care settings as well. And we remember all those who have gone before us in the faith of the resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our friends and family members and we pray for ourselves. And we pause and offer our prayers of situations that we are concerned about. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And the collect for today, God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So we say the Lord's Prayer together, whichever version you are familiar with or whichever translation you are familiar with, please do join in with the Lord's Prayer. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily breast bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen we're going to listen to our hymn again and be still for the presence of the lord and just before we conclude our worship We are going to conclude our worship, so please do join in with the concluding words. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you very much for joining me for the worship this morning. Uh, An apology for the beginning of the worship because of the connection and uh, have a really good day and remember whatever you do remember to smile because God is good all the time all the time God is good and uh, all the best for your day and whatever you have planned to do um, may you feel the comfort and the presence of God and see you on Sunday at 10 o'clock thank you bye for now